Hey guys, welcome to question FM 179 of the Further Maths Fortify Study Guide. This question reads, Alexandra removes dangerous branches from public land. The value of her chainsaw will be depreciated over time using the flat rate method of depreciation. The graph below shows her chainsaw's initial purchase price and its value at the end of each year for a period of three years. Now, I haven't actually drawn the graph up in this question, but I do have just a little layout here that shows the value of the chainsaw at each one of those points. So, question A says, what was the initial purchase price of Alexandra's chainsaw? Now, in an early edition of our book, one of the answers said $4,600. That was a printing error. Uh, the answer, of course, is $4,000, as we can see that uh, from our graph or from this little table I've drawn up here, zero years in, $4,000. So when she first got the chainsaw, it was worth $4,000. On to question B, I says, show that the chainsaw depreciates in value by $500 each year. Now there's a few ways uh, that you could do this. I'll show you a couple. You could take the value from the first year and then subtract the value from, sorry, from zero years and subtract the value after one year, 3,500, which shows a difference of $500. You could take the value after one year 3,500 and subtract the value after two years. And you could do this with any combination of two years, but as long as you have an equation that equals 500 and it's one year subtracted from the year before it, then you should be sweet. So there's a few examples there. Question B, I, I. This question says, assume that the chainsaw's value continues to depreciate by $500 each year. Determine its value six years after it was purchased. So in order to do this, I'm gonna create an nth rule because it'll take a few goes of recursion to do this and the nth rules are usually a little bit faster. So we know that the baseline for this is gonna be Vn equals V0 minus ND. Now we're using a minus here because we know that our value here is going to depreciate. It's going to go down, hence the negative symbol there, or the minus symbol there. Now I'm looking for six years after, so I'm looking for V6. Our value of V0, as we saw before, was 4,000. And this is, we're going to minus, well we've said that N has a value of six, because we're six years in. Six times 500, because that's how much we're depreciating by each year. So 4,000 minus six times 500 is gonna give us a value after six years of $1,000. Cool. Now, part C. Part C has uh, got a little bit more going on in it. It says that the unit cost method of depreciation can also be used to depreciate the value of the chainsaw. In a three year period, the total depreciation calculated at $1.20 per hour used will equal the depreciation calculated using the flat rate method of depreciation as described above. So, part C wants us to compare, well, it says determine the number of hours the chainsaw was used over the three year period. So they're saying that if we were to use the flat rate method and check for three years, and then use this unit cost method and check for three years, the depreciated value of the chainsaw would be the same. So I'm gonna use that nth rule that we used before to find the flat rate depreciated value of the chainsaw after three years. So V3 equals 4,000, once again, it's our initial value, minus three times 500. So the value of our chainsaw after three years using the flat rate method of depreciation is 2,500. And they've told us that using the unit cost method of depreciation, it will also be 2,500. So to give you a bare bones formula that we use for our unit cost depreciation, it looks very similar to the flat rate nth rule that we used before. The key difference here is that N is no longer going to represent the number of years that has passed and D is no longer going to be 500. N is now gonna represent the number of hours that we've used uh, uh, the chainsaw for, and D is now going to be $1.20.
because we've been told that it depreciates uh, at a value of $1.20 per hour used. So now, if I tell this formula that V and the value of my chainsaw that I'm looking for is when it's worth $2,500, now I can figure out the value of N, which will be the number of hours that it's used in order to give me a value of 2,500. So I simply take this formula, whack it into a solve function, and then solving for, I should actually write exactly what you'd be putting into your calculator. This will drop out a value of N equals 1,250, meaning that after 1,250 hours of use, uh, this is how many uh, hours that the chainsaw was used over three years. If you guys have any questions about how this question has been done, please drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.